October finally came, and before he knew it, it was the 31st. He used to love it when he was a kid. The costumes, the candy, the decorations, all of it. But this Halloween, he was on his way out the door to an adult Halloween party. A work acquaintance had invited him and every other person that worked in their 15-story building. He had other things to be excited about. Alcohol and those sexy little Halloween costumes ladies waited all year to wear in public. Although he thought they probably wore them more often behind closed doors. He hoped in the future he'd land an adventurous lady like that for himself. He debated on his costume for hours, finally deciding on Zorro as his best bet as a sexy, mysterious man at the party. Upon arrival, he realized about seven other men had the same idea. Oh well. He perused the party, admiring the decorations, the music, the drinks. Damn, this party must have cost a small fortune. Hey man, Dave, who worked a cubicle over from him, said as he approached, Nice party, eh? Guess that's what it's like to be the boss's kid. They did a small bro handshake and agreed that their host was one lucky SOB. His co-worker eyes him up and down and guesses. Zorro. He nods, then proceeds to eye his co-worker and guesses. Dracula? He nods as well. Then they say in unison, Chicks love a guy in a cape. They nod in agreement, proud of themselves, and head to the generously stocked open bar. This party was everything he'd ever imagined a Halloween party to be. Even down to the bartender making his drinks look potion-esque. He toasted his work buddy over green and purple bubbling drinks, and they mingled and ate, and he even managed a few dance moves. Upon wrapping up another epic robot dance, he decided he had enough of that and went to exit the designated dance floor. And that's when he locked eyes with her hypnotic green eyes that glowed in the lighting. He froze. He had been staring for an unknown number of minutes, and he could have stayed right there for forever, for all he cared. Everyone surrounding them seemed to be dancing in slow motion unaware of their mutual trance. He lifted his foot to take another step toward her. She mirrored his movement. He took another step, as did she. Eventually, they were close enough to touch, and only then did he notice what she was wearing. Dressed in a barely covering her angel costume, completely bright white, a sparkling white masquerade mask, and beautiful cascading angel wings that just barely grazed the floor. He imagined 
Had she not been wearing sky-high white heels, he would tower over her. But for now, they were nearly eye to eye. They didn't speak, but began moving together fluidly, rhythmically melding together like magnets. The music, the crowd, the alcohol. He made a bold move and went in for a kiss. She met him back with force. Their mouths, their bodies, the music. He thought to himself, if a night could be made of magic, this one definitely was. His head was spinning, maybe from the alcohol, maybe from everything that was happening. He took a step back for just a minute and shook his head and smiled. She asked him, What? Her voice more angelic than he had imagined, and he said, Everything is just so amazing right now. I just want to take it in for a second. She steps back, looks around, and says, Want to see something else amazing? He nods a yes. She proceeds to step back from him about five feet and shoots her arms that are seamlessly attached to her angel wings straight into the air, fully expanding the white wings that looked a little too real at the moment. And as she did this, the entire room came to a halt. Everyone Everything, even the music stopped, leaving a single note softly chiming through the air. All the people were just as they were one moment ago. No one moving, no one breathing. He looked around and then looked at her. Did you do this? She nodded her head. He proceeded to say, This night is amazing. That's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I didn't even know it was possible. You're amazing. She then asked, You think that was amazing? Do you want to see something else amazing? He nodded his head yes. She stepped toward him leaving about a foot of space between them. She lifted her head back, and as he watched this beauty, she quickly morphed into what he only saw once in a nightmare. As she unhinged her jaw, and her entire mouth opened, looking as though it were a black hole, then she put her head back down and locked eyes with him again taking one more step before swallowing him whole. No one saw a thing. After she finished her meal, she wiped her mouth and put her arms back down. Everyone resumed exactly what they were doing, just as they were prior to her meal, as if nothing had happened. She was surrounded by clueless partygoers. She giggled to herself internally, admiring her own power. And as she went to exit the dance floor, she locked eyes with his co-worker and decided she was still a little hungry. Ha, 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 ha.
Happy Halloween. Ha, 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 ha.